Hey YouTube, so you want to get a few extra frames while playing Daisy or any other game for that matter? Well to start, I want to warn you, if you have any problems with your temperatures then you should not try this at all as it will increase your temperatures by around you know, 10, 10, 15 degrees centigrade. Okay, so the one out of the way, all you need to do is go to this website www.codabag.com programming minus e blah 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 I'll put the link in the description you'll come up with this web page if you scroll down to the bottom or midway you'll see here download application execu executable files click on that and it will start the download once it's finished you will have this one unpark yeah forget this one you have this one open it up you'll have unpark cpu app double click it go to unpark cpu.exe open that up let's get rid of that put that back up there because yeah i like having a tidy desktop you'll have manage park cpus now what you want to do is click check status or status whatever you want to say What this will do is search your registry files to see if your car cores are unparked or not. Once it's done, it should show you your cores and if they're parked or not. So as you can see, in my case, I have three of them. I do have a quad-core processor, but it keeps one core um, safe, uh, safe mode booting, problem solving, blah, 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 you know. Now, what you want to do is click on Unpark All. Now what this will do is it will just change the registry files to tell your PC to unpark your cores, basically stripping them of their power save mode or you know, energy saving. Once you've done that, and you see they're all unparked, you'll want to just double check your temperatures, you use Core Temp or any other program that shows you your CPU temperatures to make sure they're not spiking too much. If you notice the temperatures start to get too high, then you'll need to revert back. Um, I'll show you how to do that now. So basically, once you've done that, you can either click on Park All or go back and obviously reopen it, check status, and you'll see your cores are unparked. All you have to do is click Park All. What it will do is it will swap all the registry files back over to the original ones. Now, you'll only need to do this if you notice your temperatures are getting too hot. Um, for me, I run a AMD Phenom 2 quad core. It's overclocked to 3.7 gigahertz. My temperatures never exceed 60 degrees centigrade. centigrade. Um, I've got a pretty decent cooling unit. Um, the Arctic Freezer Rev 2 Pro, whatever it's called, is huge. So yeah, that's pretty much all you have to do. Um, like I said at the start, if you have any problems with your temperatures, if they get too hot, if you're on a laptop and that's overheats while playing already don't do this because you will fry your processor um, for an example I can play Planetside 2 I was playing at I don't know about 30 40 frames per second I unparked all my CPU cores and it boosted it by I, don't know, I think I got about 20 30 frames boost on it as well as other things like um, changing all the settings and graphics. For Daisy, I play Breaking Point. Yeah, I can run about 30 frames per second on Daisy. When I un unparked all my cores, I was running about 40, 45 frames. So, you know, you get a fairly decent boost in it. So, yeah, hope this helps you all. Have fun playing your games with your newfound boost in your FPS. If you want to subscribe, hit that button down below, like video, tell your friends, you know, post it on forums, let everyone know this is a very simple and easy way of getting extra frames per second out of your PC as long as you've got adequate calling. Yeah, have fun guys and I'll see you in game.